right in the top three, but we also show with um, four, five, and six year olds. For yep. Their, Great. Or, I'm sorry, three, four, and five year olds. We all show the same test with three ages. So there are horses that were there that one age. Great. So she has an Arab father, and the mother line is what? Okay, World Cup one for Khan. Okay, so yesterday I really appreciated Lindsay's way of riding this horse because I think you deal and ride. He wants to go home to Maryland with me and I'll take him with me, no problem. Um, I really like the way you approach her when she's tight, right? And that's a given, right? She's a little bit tight. And I think you ride her really, really nicely. And I, I commented to you yesterday, the order of your ride, I think you're spot on, okay? You start gymnasticizing her quite early. And I like that. You're not just pushing against the tightness with your leg, yeah? You're relaxing the tightness with your leg and seat. So when you're ready, let's just go ahead and start your next set of work. And build it up yourself right now, Lindsay. Good, and just get the circulation going all the way through her body that you feel the forward motion is flowing through. That tempo is fine, not more forward, that's nice there. And let's repeat that, it started off a little wiggly, a little lack of control of left shoulder, yeah? But it finished well. Good. Inner leg to outer rein. Good. One more time, and on purpose this time, more transitions into the leg yield. That's fine to get her in front of you and get her loose. Now come back to the trot. You can see she's going to engage well, but we have to make sure she's not going to engage cheating. Good. Quarter line. And now you're going to leg yield over to the second track. Now straight on the second track. Now leg yield again. I like that a little more for her, okay? That you tell her right leg, then remind left shoulder. One more time. That we keep refreshing the left shoulder and the right leg. Leg yield over. Now refresh the left shoulder, straight. And leg yield again, right leg. That was a good start. That's enough of that subject. Change direction any way you'd like. I like that there. A little hurried, easy. And yes, there's a wrist that she'll feel behind your leg. Good, but we don't want to keep her there, right there. A little straighter on the right rein. That's a little bit false left. Just a touch, easy, easy, just a little bit. We never want to lose the outside shoulder. And leg yield, exactly. This side, I do want you to ride the continuous line. I don't want to ride it the same way each way. It's a different issue. This side, I want her a little bit more supple on the inside of her body and stable on the outside of her body. That position, that position. Let her feel that. Let her feel that. Let her feel that. Lovely on the outside rein. There. Nice. That's beautiful right there. Good. Now let's do an engaging transition. We just got her supple. Now I want to run a transition trot, walk, trot. Uphill. Uphill through the transition. Yep. Start over, get her out, good. Nice. And when you're ready, start that transition again. Awesome. And trot. Good. And rise again. Good. On the next long side, just ride her straight down the long side and then develop a sitting trot again. That's good right there. And sitting trot, good. Nice. How about a shoulder four on the next long side? Nice. Right there. 
Good. And straight. Good. So the same thing this direction as the leg yield. I want to ride a couple of transitions. Shoulder four, straight, shoulder four. She gets a little bit lost within it, so I want to make sure we can start it right. Good. Shoulder four, get it established, and now straighten. And now re-enter again. And straighten before the turn. Nice, nice. Let her stretch a second. Good, good, good. Just work on that she's not hiding too much, yeah. Try to get her to lengthen the neck. You are, you're doing great, yeah, no worries. Good, that she truly softens the back. There, she's starting to reach better. That's better, that's improved, that's improved. Good, better. That's all I'm after, that she truly wants to reach. All right, now paint, yep, yeah, exactly. Nice transition, beautiful, there. So that tells me we should do that a little bit more often in her workout because she feels better after stretching. And we want her top line to lengthen a little bit. There, she's really nice. Good, your, your decision for your canter depart, sitting or rising, but I want a good depart. That you can get eight for it, okay? Not that she picks up the canter, that she makes a canter transition. Good, ride, 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 ride. Get the back softer, work it out. Stay with it, stay with it. She hasn't cantered yet. Good, she hasn't cantered still, good. She's not comfortable yet. Good, you're almost there, good, good. That's it, get the comfort in her, awesome. Down the long side. Good. There she's cantering. Good. There she just softened her back more. Good. When you're ready, back to trot. And we're gonna recanter to the right in a moment. Good, there. And that she doesn't cheat in the transitions. Good, hey, good riding. When you're ready, set it up for the canter to part again. And let's see if she finds the comfort of her canter quicker than she did before. Good, ride, right? yeah, she is. There, she's softer, good. Down the long side, good. She has a more true step from behind, she's less tight behind the saddle, good. Ride, get that circulation, rider, rider, rider. That's it. Quiet hand, good, quiet hand. There, you were a little bit too much throwing your right rein away, okay? And relax, I do it too, relax, good but it's my job to tell you. Awesome, nice, nice, nice. How about shoulder four in the canter on the next long side, okay? That we get her to bend around the inner leg. Just the slightest angle that you can influence the canter stride. Good, there at the end I liked it. Next long side again, the same thing, shoulder four. Find it, that she really takes the bending of the inner hind. Better, that, that's a softer looking stride. And now straighten, good, that's nice. Do that one more time, that comforted her. Do it one more time, that she really gets a little more supple in the hind leg. Good job. Good. On the next long side, rider straight, and then do a 10 meter circle. If it's 12 meters, I'm fine. Keep the quality of the horse. Just a smaller circle without losing the quality of the horse. Ride. That she bends her joints. And straight. And then again after the doorway there, she's good, another 10 meter circle. If it's 12 meters, I'm fine. I don't want to shut her down to make the size of the circle. I want her comfortable. Good. There and out, that's soft. That's a nice look. Now just let her stretch her neck a little bit rounder on the circle. Two to three inches rounder. Let her stretch just a little bit. Good, good. Flex her a little bit to the outside now, just a touch, one inch. Easy, easy, just think it. And now flex her back a little bit to the inside. Stretching, releasing. 
There. And then one more time, just flex her gradually to the outside, like one inch, just to get the left. Good, because she tilts a little bit. So you want to massage the pole a little bit. Now bring her up on the circle. When she feels, ah, good. So after she's stretching the trot, and after she's stretching the canter, when you bring her up, she has a nicer, peaceful look in her body. You feel that? It relaxes her lower back. Awesome. Now when you're ready, back to trot. Flowing without her quitting behind, without her dropping her shoulders, uphill flow, nice, nice. Good job. Use as little leg possible there. Don't let her talk you into making that trot for her. Good, change direction. Good. Watch you don't overbend left and lose the right rein. Good, remember you can only bend what you have proper in the outside rein. Otherwise, it's a pull inside. You can only bend what you have proper in your outside rein. Otherwise, it's a false position. Nice. And when you're ready, the canter to part. Ride, ride, ride. As soon as the canter is comfortable, we're trotting and repeating the transition. Good. You got it. You got it. That's a nice read. Get the circulation to her back muscles. That's it. Go down the long side. Nice there. That's uphill. I like that. Good. OK. There we got her comfortable. Come back to the trot. A good transition. Take your time. Right rein, good. Not overdone the right rein, easy. Yeah, yeah, that was your supplement work you did earlier, good. And then, yeah, good. Okay, and canter left again. Balance, and then step. Ride it, ride it, ride it. See, it's the right rein, right? That's not something new, you know it. Yeah, good job, awesome. Because you were counter bending a lot in the warm up. I was watching you. And you're exactly right about that, good. And when you're ready, Balance, and then step. Good, right on. Good, lovely, back to trot. Canter's good enough, back to trot. Yep, don't worry about it, yep, you're good, you're good. And straight, and now straighten, good. Now trust your correction, good. Can I canter properly, did I set her up right, yep. We're not gonna hold her hand all the time, good. I liked you did your counter work, yeah. Now canter again, left. Good, ride, awesome. Getting better. Now shoulder four, on the long side. Yep, really important, it's gonna be hard for this side. Uphill. Good, get a little bit more angle in that. We never really got the shoulder four position, uphill, almost, less tilting, more right rein, now it's proper, now it's the first time, pro yep, good, straight, yep, I thought that was going to be hard for her, no worries, good, because that's your solution, better than counter bending, okay, one more time, shoulder four, there you go, good riding, she let you do it, nice, there the inside hind is better, and straighten. And when you're ready, back to trot. On the long side. Straight, good, good. Uphill, a little more uphill. Now slow the trot a little bit, just a, a tiny bit for balance, for balance. Put her together, put her together, put her together, put her together, put her together. Now a little, just a touch more forward. Easy, good, good, good. Right there. Now put her together again. Just a little bit less forward. Tuck the hind legs under from your seat. Balance the front end. Yep, stay, stay, good. We hit a spot, awesome, awesome, stay with it. She doesn't just get to run. Oh, there, then she lifts up her shoulder blades. There, now go ahead a little forward. There, do that transition one more time. It's okay if she protests. It's like, oh, you mean I have to lift up my withers a little bit and get a little bit more compressed? The answer is yes, sweetheart, good. That's it, and then go out on the long side. 
There you go. Awesome. Okay, then let her stretch at the, on the long side. Into the circle. Read her. Don't let her get false in the stretch. That she really will trust reaching and lengthening and softening the back. Yep, you're doing great. Just stay with it until she starts to trust that more. Good. There. Pat her. She's starting to settle into it. Good. That's it. Good. Now we're going to bring her back up. Same rhythm. Connection. Hind legs to the bit all the way. Beautiful. Again, after stretching and putting her together, she gets really nice. That's three times in a row. That's a common, that's beautiful. That's a common denominator. That's what I always look for in the horses. Ah, what do they think of the work we're doing? Awesome. We have to learn about them. Ah, they're all a little bit different, how you approach them. And then she gets a walk break now. Good, I like that, I like that. Keep her up there, that's nice. Up like that, yeah. Shoulders up. Never coming back with a hand. Yep, come, yep. Hind legs under me. Stabilize those hind legs. Don't let them wander left and right. You're a channel, don't let her get shocked. There's an electric fence on each side of her, two inches away from her. Don't let her get shocked. Ah, she just got shocked on the right. Good, there, there, there. Good job, awesome. And a walk break, really nice. Really nice. So there's, while she's on a walk break, it gives me some things to talk about. So I think it's helpful sometimes to really distinguish looseness versus suppleness. Think about that for a second. Horses are really good at getting away from things by being a little bit loose, sliding around. Suppleness is related to the word connection. Okay, so if you try to do a little bit of bend on the circle, or, and Christine was mentioning that in her section, if the horse steps out behind, it's just pivoting. And like in these downward transitions, she had the shoulder stable, but the hind leg was wandering left and right. So just be very, very careful. You don't think you have a really supple horse when that's going on. You have a good escape artist when that's going on. And I think that's the name of the game with her. Yeah. You agree? Oh, yeah. It's Arab in general. And, and yesterday, or today, sorry, when, when they were still taking some questions, I had my eye on you. And you do really nice alignment work. Okay? Really nice. And just make sure she doesn't overreact at all. She's one you really think. I know exactly every inch where I'm placing every single one of your legs. Yeah? And nothing quick with her because she's really good at escaping. So if you think to her, okay, I'm gonna show off this transition to shoulder in. Here I come around the corner and nail it. Okay. She's gonna pivot instead of bend. Okay? It's, it's beautiful, it's a dance, it's art, yes? Draw that picture fluidly. Don't let her just pivot around because she's really good at wiggling. Yeah? Okay, let's pick her back up. Now the rules start. Good. Yep. Good. Is there anything special you wanted me to look at for you? I think you're, you're hitting on the head. I mean, she, she definitely heard it. You know, once I get one side of her balance, yep. Yep. And then I feel like as soon as she releases behind the saddle, I get a lot more lateral suppleness. Yep. So. You're spot on. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you're ready, let's go ahead and start the sitting trot. Now just, let's not get talked into finding how much go gets her comfortable. Follow me? 
Because sometimes she gets away by going too forward to get away from it, okay? And then she doesn't have to carry any of her weight on her hind legs. Good job, that's a nice start. That's really good, there's no rushing there. Now if that's 10 miles an hour, on the long side, I want you to go to nine and a half. It's almost invisible. I just want her to feel that you're riding her a little bit more compressed. Good, and back to 10. It's invisible, lovely. Just you feel you have a horse you have access to. That's the best trot you've had of the day there, okay? Nice, let's go to shoulder four with that. Good. Help her, help her. Oh, she just stepped on you on the dance floor. Yeah, go straight. Good, you're riding great. And shoulder four again. Just get it stable, that she feels it for a while. No overreacting at all, you're there. Just keep that, ride that forward thinking. Ride that forward thinking, let her feel it. Yep, let her body feel the sensation of what that feels like. And go straight, awesome. One more time. And I don't want you to rise. Okay? Make her understand what it's all about. You're a good rider. You're not getting in her way at all. Show her the future. Good. I'm not a fan when something feels bad to abort and get off of it, because horses aren't dumb. As many people say that they don't think they're very smart, I think they're very smart. And go straight. Now you can rise her to reward her. Now you can rise. Exactly. And stretch her again, because we found out that she likes that. Yeah, really purposeful riding. Relaxation of the back and then use of the back. All right, you got it. Now that I wouldn't have done, sorry. She wasn't established yet in the connection, right? And you changed direction as you were developing the connection. So I think you set her up for insecurity there, okay? No worries, it's just my job to tell you that. Good, and ride. Get her honest on that right rein, good. Now let's leg yield down the wall this side. Just a little bit of bend outside. Keep the shoulders on the track. Less bend right. And straighten. Nice. And let's do that one more time on the next long side. Then we get the outside shoulder and the outside of the horse supple before doing shoulder in. And that already addresses what you were doing on the circle, right? That's beautiful. There she's getting supple. Now straighten her, lovely. And now we want to see if that was purposeful or not. Good, that when I flex her left, she's not tilting, good. Right rein a little bit lower, just a touch lower. Good, don't overreact, awesome. And shoulder forward to the left. That she finds that right rein. Well ridden. Good coaching. Good coaching. Straighten, you rode that beautifully, Lindsay. No worries, ah, ah, good, and straight. Now one more transition, trot, walk, trot when you're straight. Just deal with it, don't go around the subject. Don't comfort her by going to leg guild, yep. She had her set up, now she has to be honest about it, good. We can't always wiggle her around to find the comfort, yep. And trot out, keep her straight now. We did suppling, now keep her straight, good. But you have control of those hind legs. And the balance, lovely. And again, trot, walk, trot. Straight and honest. Ah, ah, good, good, deal with it. And trot. Awesome. One more long side. As soon as you're out of the corner and she's straight, trot, walk, trot, no options. She has to understand a channel being straight between you and not wiggle through it. Good, and trot. And trot. You're her stability. Good. One more time. Walk. Straight. And just show her the way that she can't wiggle out of it. Yep. Good. You're doing great. You're doing great. And trot. Awesome. Good. Now a circle. And stretch her again. Reward her for that effort. Good. Stretching. Good. Nice. Praise her. 
Good. Good. There, she's starting to relax. Good. There, the back muscles are getting soft. I can see them moving now. Good. Good. Bring her back up. Nice. Nice. Nope. Trot. Don't give her that out. Good. You got it. You got it. I prefer that than cantering, okay? Awesome. There, she's lovely again. And now she gets a walk break again. Ride her to the walk without her wiggling. Show her the way. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. Awesome riding. And let her relax. Beautiful. There's a time to supple her. There's a time not to supple her. Because she finds the way out, okay? Very nice. What have you started with her in terms of what, does, what have you introduced so far? I said pretty much everything from the first level. I've done a little shoulder four. I haven't done it in the can except for today. I've done like the leg heels in shoulder four, kind of pushing her, um, you know, like from the front line over. But just trying to really find that fine balance. Don't, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you one second. Don't train her too much on the freedom. Yeah, okay. Like, let your leg just relax now, okay? okay. Don't train her here. Uh, it's her time. So my biggest thing is uh, finding the balance between getting her uphill and keeping the swing. So, like, yep. I have had to do a little bit what we're doing today where I like, want to lower because I feel like I'm riding, like, she just she doesn't move her back. Yep. And then, Good. I try to do it less and less, and I just start on the last month, like two or three doing what we're doing here. It's kind of like not giving her 50 excuses to do it right when I ask her, even if it's kind of ugly. I'm like, can I just have to sit and deal with it? Yep. Um, and I feel like that's been really impactful. Sometimes and see, there I think you're spot on, okay? I think you're spot on. Because to get the honesty up the level now, right? Life gets a little more challenging. As you know, you're a good rider, you've ridden up the levels. So now she has to be more accountable. So we can't hold her hand and say, well, I set you up just perfectly. Wait a minute, now I feel this, so I'm gonna do that. Now I feel this, so I'm gonna do that. Now I feel this, so I'm gonna do that. Then guess who rides who? Yeah. Yeah. Because the last time I checked, I can't say to Christy, hey, one second, uh, in the middle of my test, oh, I just wanna do a little leg. Okay, now you can look again. Yeah. So it's really your organization, and I think you're exactly right. She should have suppleness, before she has engagement, because her back is a little bit tight, right? Okay, pick her up again. Have you started lengthenings? Yes. Great. I'd just love to see the introduction of that, okay? I don't need you to go for a 10, but I just want to see what she does in her lengthening in the trot, okay? You're awesome. Nice. Now just take your time. Good, take your time. Get her comfortable. Again, I'm a huge fan of using that phrase, set them up for success. Get my best horse. If that takes 30 seconds, if that takes a minute, I'm being fair to my horse to get my best horse for the challenge. That's lovely there. Good. There she's gliding and swinging, that's beautiful. And then if you feel prepared, show me the start of your lengthening work. Good. Lindsay, that was beautifully done. Oh, 
Uphill. Now, let's go back again to sitting. 